you plan on using a chuck, one of the most important things in wood turning is to get the tenon right. The manufacturer makes the jaws in one piece, then cuts them into four as shown in this photo. The tenon needs to be cut the same size as before the jaws were cut. The shoulders of the tenon need to fit squarely on the faces of the jaws. Also, the bottom of the tenon should never touch the bottom. When the mounting jaws are flush with the outside on this Axminster chuck, you've got the perfect circle. This set of jaws has a dovetail which I much prefer. Another important part is to cut cleanly into the area that I'm showing you. This is because some jaws have a very sharp edge and if you don't do it correctly, it will lift it off the face of the chuck. If you make the tenon too small, it's just going to hit on the centre of each jaw. If you make the tenon too large, it's just going to hit on the corners of each jaw and you'll lose a lot of holding power. I use the bidan to start off my tenons. Check the size with a set of calipers. Then I use a spindle gouge to form the dovetail. Use a straight edge to make sure that you have a flat surface that's going to fit on the face of the chuck. You may notice I have a hollow in the middle of my straight edge, which means I need to take some more off on the outer edge. Wood compresses, so it's very important when you're tightening to you use a little pressure on each pinion and then gradually increase as you go around chuck tightening. Now your tenon should fit nice and tight against the face of the chuck and not touch the bottom. If you're not sure if you've got it right or not, you can slide a piece of paper between the wood and the jaws, you've done it wrong. I hope this short video helps those that want to know more about a tenon.